Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Very, very glad that you're here. Really, <clears throat> really appreciate one, your support, but more importantly, I appreciate you being here because if you're watching a video like this, it means you're someone who is interested in improving themselves and becoming a better person. You're someone who's interested in healing their past pain and using it to transform themselves into something better. You're interested in raising your vibration and being a genuine, authentic version of yourself in the midst of all of the programming and brainwashing that's projected onto us to tell us who we're gonna be. So for that, thank you so much for working on yourself. So today, the video, is about using your pain as a source of transformation, letting the hardships in your life, the pain that you experience through each day-to-day -day, uh, you know, life and experience that we live as a source of transformation. And so we're talking about this, why? Because you know it's interesting. First of all, it's so funny, whenever I make videos, this is how I know I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing in life because in the midst of my own pain, which is the source and inspiration for this video, every time I begin to speak and share what I'm reflecting on, what I'm learning, the wisdom that I'm gaining, this just feels so natural and it's such a release for me. So thank you uh, for your support again uh, and encouragement because uh, it helps me know that I'm on the right path and hopefully, you know, at least it seems, the, some of the feedback I get seems to give you guys some value too. So. Uh, anyways, let's jump into the meat and potatoes of this video. Use your pain as a source of transformation. Our pain is our greatest teacher. And as we, as Tony Robbins says, you know, we're basically our two greatest motivations in life. And I agree, this is basically just psychology one-on-one, truly, is we do things to create pleasure in our lives or to avoid pain. And that's really our source of motivation. Everything that we do is either to give us pleasure in some way or to avoid feeling pain. This is just how we're wired as human beings. True alchemy and power and transforming your life, in my experience, in my own belief, is when we can use the negative experiences uh, use the negative interactions that we have, uh, the insights into our own feelings and our own spirit, and we can use that as a source of inspiration and a source of transformation. That's when you truly become unstoppable and you've gained another level of wisdom in your life on how to be and navigate in this world, on this planet that we all live in. because. Negativity and feeling pain is inevitable. It's what we do with that pain that defines us. And it is, you know, cliche, it's the saying, right? It's, uh, life is, you know, 10% what happens, 90% how you react, it's true. And that is our power, that's our sovereignty, is how we choose to respond to each situation. And again, when you can take negative experiences, negative feelings in your life, glean the insights and the lessons that that pain and those experiences are trying to teach you and use it as a source, as a fuel of inspiration to move you forward, that's alchemy. That's transmuting negative energy into something positive. That is you overcoming a past version of yourself and becoming a better version of yourself. That is you becoming unstoppable because then when you experience the rainy days, the down days, the broke days, the hurt days, the poor days, the suffering, the, um, you know, whatever it is, the grief, the sadness and understand why this is in your life and use that, man, well, tell me, why are you avoiding pain? Why are you scared of new situations when you are operating in this way, it doesn't matter what you're experiencing or what you're going through in life because whether it's quote unquote good or quote unquote bad, you're growing from these situations either way. You're either relishing in a joyful, loving, amazing, euphoric state that's catapulting you forward or you're experiencing the contrast of that, the pain, the grief, the sadness, the doubt, the fear, the 
stalling the, um, what's the word I'm looking for? The deterrent of your situation, uh, and you're using that, it doesn't matter. You're basically growing either way, and you're not allowing, especially the negative aspect of things, to have you stuck. You're growing from that. You're looking at it, and that is when you truly become powerful. That is when you truly become unstoppable. So let your pain become a source of motivation. And so what do I mean by that? Here's where I'll clarify. And this, this idea and approach is also from uh, Abraham Hicks. And what she talks about is the only reason we experience events, situations, relationships, people, etc., in our lives on a day-to-day -day that we don't like is to clarify is to clarify what we do want in our life. So whatever pain you're going through right now, whatever suffering you're going through right now, whatever difficult situations you're going through right now, this is a golden opportunity for you to do two things. One, clarify exactly what you do want. So whatever you're experiencing, it sucks, and the worse it is, the harder it is, it's showing you exactly what you do want. By So all you have to do is shift your focus and say, man, I really don't like this, what is this pushing me towards? What would I rather have my life be like if I'm experiencing what I don't want? What's the opposite of this? What is it that I do want? That's helping you clarify the direction in which you need to be moving and where you're going. That's a powerful, powerful place to be because again, now you're transmuting. This is alchemy. This is, uh, this is energy work. You're taking that negative energy and you're, clear, you're using it as a positive force to clarify what you do want. And when you relish more in the vision and the clarity and the feeling, the emotion, the energy of what you do want, you are pulled by that. You're moving forward. So the lesson, the reminder, the wisdom here is whatever you're experiencing in your life that you do want, especially if it's something or that you don't want, especially if it's something that you're really uncomfortable with, you don't like the situation, the relationship, the job, the blah, 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 where you live, et cetera, fill in the blank. It's here as a power, as a source to move you through and clarify what you do want. So that's first. Something important with this, this is something especially we struggle with as men, is the perfectionism, is the chronic shame and guilt that is projected onto us that we can basically do no right. That if you're not a man making over $100,000 and you're not a millionaire and you're not you know, married with kids and driving this and have a six pack and all this stuff, you're a loser. No, man, you know, man or woman, <laughs> it doesn't matter. Again, this is society's tricks to shame and guilt you into staying the same. You have to understand that healing, that growth is sloppy. It's sloppy. Man, I've been in my feelings all today. I'm sitting here with my shirt off with my freaking tank top tan, <laughs> like whatever. You got to let yourself be sloppy. You got to let yourself be messy. Who gives a shit what other people think? This is for you. This is for you to grow and learn from. And the more you can allow yourself to be free and open in your expression of your pain, the more it will transform you. And part of being free and open in your expression is allowing yourself to be sloppy. Is allowing yourself to not worry how things look because you have a clear intention to improve your life upgrade your frequency, your standards of living, your current circumstances, and help other people. That's what you're here for. And the healing process is sloppy. You sit there, you may need to cry it out and snot it up in your pillow and frickin', you know, let your makeup run, and, you know, and uh, whatever, you know, smell like crap and not shower <laughs> for a day or two. That's okay. So the second point is it's okay and you need to give yourself permission to be less than perfect oh man but i can't what will other people think i've got to always have my makeup on i've got to always look this way i'm like oh because if i no your healing your transformation is an individual journey and job it's a mission that you're on that you've been on that you're still going on and you will continue to be on understand that this looks sloppy at times it looks not put together. It looks less than perfect. That's the whole point. Because that perfectionism, that need to always look a certain way, to always be a certain way, to always feel a certain way, that is the crippling program that's running in your mind as society is laid upon you. You don't. It's okay to 
look and feel and be a certain way. And again, this is especially true as men, right? Because what happens uh, as men if we feel emotions, if we're in our feelings or, uh, you know, or we cry, you're a bitch, you're weak, right? Um, and it's so funny. I think this concept is so funny. All that shows is just such a, um, you know, very uh, unaware and unconscious way of being. Most people say these things, but they don't understand where they're coming for or why that may or may not be true. So the second point is allow yourself to be sloppy to, for it to look less than perfect, to you know, get on camera, to cry, to feel emotions, especially again as men. And don't allow anybody or anything to tell you that it's wrong. And with this is the process of transformation. Experiencing what you don't want helps you clarify what you do want. And in order to get from what you don't want to what you do want, it's sloppy, it's uncomfortable, it's less than perfect. So allow yourself to be that. And when you, again, start to practice this and give yourself permission to be fully free in your expression of who you are, this is you healing, this is you embodying your truth away from society's judgments. You know, because it's funny, you know this as well as I do, the people judging you that are saying, oh, he or she looks so dumb, how could you ever do that? It doesn't mean you have to blast all your stuff everywhere. But if you're going through your process internally, that's what it's about. Again, this is a, an internal mission, an internal job, the journey of transformation. No one's transforming, you're the one that transform, that's transforming. And understand that as you transform, what comes with that is... Freedom is sovereignty, is power, is confidence, is love for yourself. You're embodying a new identity. You're becoming a new person. That's going to make so many people feel uncomfortable because it's not a common journey, because it's difficult, it's painful, it's sloppy, it's nasty, it's ugly. Most people don't want to go there. And then what I want you to understand, the third point I'll make is that is what shadow work is. This is your shadow, your dark side, the sloppy, snotty, makeup runny side the um you know all the your this is your dark side this is transmutation this is alchemy this is you transforming that's what this is that's what you're doing so give your clarify understand first of all that experiencing what you don't want is clarifying what you do want two that healing is sloppy but this is transformation this is what it is and then at the end of the tunnel is freedom, is sovereignty, becoming who you really are. Independent of the good opinions of other people or bad opinions, it doesn't matter because you're you and this is you from the chrysalis to the butterfly. What do you think's happening inside that chrysalis? You think it's all like this beautiful stuff? No, it's like this gooey, melty, nasty mess. And if you break that chrysalis open too early in the middle of that transformation, it's nasty. But that's the process. This is transmutation. This is melting the gold down into the pot to reform into a beautiful ring or chain or whatever. This is you coming out the other side as the you know, beautiful individual you are. It's sloppy, it's not easy. <laughs> so what the gift of pain also gives us is a shift in perspective, a different viewpoint. When you're on the top of the mountain, and you've conquered the mountain and you're looking down at the valleys, you're looking over the ocean, you're standing on top of the mountain. It's a much different perspective than when you're at the very bottom of the valley, when you're in the muddy swamp at the bottom of the lake or the river, when your feet are muddy and they're sticking, it, sticking in the mud and you're getting mosquito bites and you're looking up at the top of the mountain and saying, God, it looks a lot better up there. That's what this is about, again. This is transcending the duality of the 3D world. By you experiencing pain and using the metaphor being in the swamp and the bottom of the valley and looking up at the mountain, this is giving you a different perspective. This is giving you wisdom because now when you're at the bottom of the valley at the top of the mountain, you can appreciate what it's like when you're up there. And when you're up there, you can look back down and say, damn, I remember when I was in the swamp and my feet were all muddy, I was getting bit by mosquitoes and it was nasty and it smelled like crap. 
helps you give you a different perspective. So understand that part of the wisdom of you experiencing your pain using your uh, negative experiences and transmuting them is also to give you a different perspective. This is downloading new wisdom. This is you transforming into a better person, becoming a wiser, happier, clear, more powerful, free, sovereign person and soul, independent from the good opinions or bad opinions of other people. This is the process. You're supposed to feel pain. It's our greatest teacher. Pain is inevitable. If you spend your entire life trying to avoid pain, oh man, you're in for a world of hurt. You're in for a world of hurt because by avoiding the pain, you're just creating more. As the saying goes, what you resist persists. So by you avoiding feeling the nasty, dirty emotions that you don't want to feel, you're avoiding your shadow, you're denying a part of yourself, you're not becoming whole. You're forgetting a whole side of you that exists, that exists in all of us as human beings, the light and the dark, the good and the bad. And so the pain is here to teach you and you can't avoid it. That's the whole point of reality is to feel the joy and the sadness because you can't have one without the other. You can't live in eternal bliss. Well, you can, but if you were living in eternal bliss, you wouldn't be on this planet. <laughs> You'd be, you know, experiencing samadhi or, or heaven or nirvana or whatever uh, you choose to believe in. That's what it is. You wouldn't be here, but you're on planet Earth to experience that as part of the human experience. This is the human experience. And again, what you resist persists. So you've got to dive into the dark side and let your pain transform you to help you clarify and move you towards what you want. Avoiding it only makes it worse. So my personal example of why this video comes up and what I'm sharing is I came out to a new city for a very specific reason, very intentional purpose, very intentional. And my manifestations have been just falling into place one after another and continue to. Part of this powerful experience of manifestation, this power that I'm learning to wield is experiencing pain. And uh, again, Abraham Hicks comes into mind. I think they call it step five. They literally have steps to understand this stuff. And I'm in the, I'm currently experiencing step five. And what she describes is a step five is, step one is experiencing what you don't want to clarify what you do want. We talked about that. And then you go through these different steps. I can't remember all the steps off the review, but I remember step five is what I'm experiencing. And step five is when you've manifested and are continuing to manifest what you want, but you come up against old patterns or situations or feelings or emotions. And it feels like you're back at step one. But step five and the difference between step one and step five, when you're feeling what you want to clarify what you don't, don't want is, step five is you recognize that you're in the contrast again but instead of saying, oh, I'm back at square one, you realize that you're in step five, which is clarifying or experiencing what you don't want to clarify what you do. Is you, The only difference is you recognize it now. You recognize it that this is why this is happening in my life to help you move forward. I'm on my way to creating my dreams. And this is my personal example. And the current situations I find myself in from day to day, some of them I don't like, some of them I really don't like, some places I really don't wanna be. But again, my wisdom and experience has brought me to the understanding that I'm experiencing this as kind of a refuel, a pit stop to fill up my gas tank again, the gas tank of motivation to move me towards what I do want. So even though my life is being blessed and I'm upgrading in a major way, it doesn't mean I'm not gonna experience pain along the way. As a matter of fact, I'm probably gonna experience a lot more pain because there's gonna be powerful lessons there to teach me what I need to learn in order to become who I'm becoming. That's what's happening. And what I'm experiencing in my life at times, I'm sitting here and being like, God, this, oh, I just gotta deal with this. I don't wanna be here, I don't wanna do this, I don't wanna be around these people, I don't wanna X, fill in the blank. But again, I'm in step five, so I recognize that the only reason I'm experiencing this now is to refuel my gas tank of motivation to push me towards what I do want. So that's what this is about, guys. Use your pain as a source of transformation. 
and understand that every time, because it will happen every time over and over again, because such is the nature of the 3D reality on planet Earth that we live in, is there to move you towards what you do want. It's there to move you, excuse me, towards what you do want. So, whatever you're going through right now, and if you clicked on this video, you are probably in a tough place in life or you're experiencing challenges, or maybe you're not, maybe you're on the other side right now. Either way, this is your reminder that when you do, or if you currently are, experiencing people, places, situations, in life, circumstances that you don't like, that are really crappy, you wanna change your money, your relationships, your health, your fitness, whatever it is, it's here to push you towards what you do want. And when you can embody, embrace, and practice that, you become unstoppable. It doesn't make it easy. It doesn't make it comfortable. It's not supposed to be. It actually sucks at times. It's here to push you towards what you do want. So remember that. Master the skill of alchemy, of transmutation, of taking a negative energy and experience and using that as a force, literally going through you into a positive force to push you through and towards where you want to go and who you want to be. That is how you use your pain as a source of transformation and you become unstoppable. The quote I'll leave you with today, a dove struggling in the storm grows stronger than the eagle soaring in the sunshine. I mean, that was like the best quote I mean, I didn't even read a ton of them. I was just like, that's the one that basically sums up the entire video. A dove struggling in a storm grows stronger than an eagle soars in the sunshine. If you also think about a tree, when a tree is growing, or even if it's full grown, say you're down in like Florida and you're experiencing some crazy hurricane weather. Every time those trees experience that crazy weather, what do you think happens? Their roots get deeper, they get stronger. Every time you're in the gym and you push past, you know, rep number eight, nine, 10, and you go 11, 12, 13, and you're like, wanna give up and you can't even do it, what do you think happens? Your body gets stronger and you change. So each time you experience an experience, of people, places, things, whatever it is, a circumstance in life that you don't like, your foundation is growing stronger, your character is becoming more pronounced your resilience is solidifying and becoming stronger. That's the purpose of these experiences. So use your pain and negative experiences to transform you and your life. And when you do this, man, you're growing on so many levels, physically, mentally, emotionally, financially, professionally, especially spiritually, because that's what this is. You're lifting spiritual weights power of your spirit is growing stronger the wisdom of your soul is shining through and that's what transformation is it's not easy it doesn't look all pretty on instagram and saying like oh, da, da, da. no it's nasty man it's dark it's you crying in a corner for three weeks straight <laughs> and then coming out of the cocoon a better person wiser from the pain and the wisdom healing your heart allowing yourselves to express that's what transformation is and it looks different for everybody too. It might not look like this for you. It might not. Uh, but if you clicked on this video, this has probably been your experience. So this is some friendly reminders from me to you about what these experiences mean or how to make them meaningful in your life and how to transmute the negative energy and circumstances into positive ones and let them transform you. Get on camera with your tank top tan who cares? Let yourself be sloppy. Let yourself be human. You're human, aren't you? You're watching this video. What do humans do? Do all kinds of nasty stuff. We're human. It's part of the human experience. So allow yourself to be human. Use your pain as a source of transformation. It is the most powerful source of transformation. What pushes you more to be a better person than experiencing a crappy life or situation? Not much. And the worse it is, the more you really want to move out of that. <laughs> so remember that. That's what I got for you today, guys. Love you so much. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.